Okay, I'm back. And yeah, all right. Okay, I'm in the process of, as you know, trying to get enough uh, polymer so I can actually make some more temples, more pulls, and trying to get Bernice. But as we know over here, and I've got something to do, I'm going to get to it. So, we've got an ancient story, which I, but no, I dare, so it's over here, yeah, we've done that, we've got this to do, <laughs> ah, Bernice, what are you up to, uh, I'll, I'll find out, right, so, let's get to it, and I've already Done chapter four, Tory Inferno. So, yeah, as like always, everything done in one go. So, yeah, we're in it for the long haul, and hopefully, I can get enough. Well, get a lot more so I can make some more pulls. Uh, only time will tell. And I also might get to use Bernice too. Which will be good. <coughs> and yeah, you know that time when I was trying to do the testing route stuff? When I couldn't do it before? Yeah, I was actually able to do it. So, yeah. <sighs> Why couldn't this be voiced? You know me, it's only the voice stuff that I pay attention to. Because that. Because that's the only thing that you need to pay attention to. So, yeah. Uh, and plus, it helps get through it, get through it quicker, doesn't it? Wait. Hmm. So, we're going through here. All right, fine. Story! Something good happened. Oh, why? What? What happened? Let me know. Hmm. And I get to play with Bernice. Ha <laughs> ha! Eh. Oh yeah, it's locked. Hmm. Okay, no one needs... You know what? Fine. When it's not locked, I'd put stuff there. Put people there. Because it's locked, I can't. Damn it! You know, maybe I could have changed it, but still. Let's see what you're up to. Bernice. Just going straight into battle. Hi. How you doing? Time to burn. Bernie. Burn and Bernie. down. Ha <laughs> ha. Burn. Wait. Ah, uh, one second. Yeah. It was a bit loud for me, I just had to turn it Ah, dang it! Come on! Why are you being a pain? Burn! Load up and pull out! Ha ha! And anyway, Piper, I'm not really one to use. Because. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, that was something I was. As you know, I was. I had to do, which I can do it now. 
It's a wipe. Hey, I can take him. It's basically just cleaning out the place. Is that all I'm doing? I'm uh, really, I don't even have to fight him. I just have to set him up. And that is it. Why are you acting like you know it? <laughs> they got toasted. And now we switch. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> and <dead. laughs> uh, burn, baby bird. <laughs> everyone's going. Everyone's turn, being turned into toast. Right. Let's go. I want to do a nap. I will kill everybody. <laughs> oh, so all I was doing is saving Granny. Don't worry, Granny. You're safe now. Thank you. Looks like luck isn't. Uh. Here they come again. It's still not over. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Be careful. Thanks, darling. <laughs> yeah, let's kick some ass. <laughs> no one can stop Bernice. Bernice, it's about time we wrap this up. Time for toast! <laughs> I like that bit the end. <laughs> oh, thank you, little ones. And this cutie bang boo, of course. <laughs> yeah, that bit the end. Dunzo. <laughs> uh. Don't mention it. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you don't have to thank me. Just thank Bernice. Are you really fine? Getting attacked by ethereals at your age is no laughing matter. <laughs> she looks really tough. And much more spirited than you, Piper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> such a sweet young lady. Keep it coming. I love hearing these things. I hope I'll be as spirited as you are when I turn 90. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 90 years old. No, I'm 100. <laughs> no, no, she's not. Bernice, is that your name? Thank you for rescuing me. I want to do something for you in return. Where do you work? I'll write you a thank you letter. Uh, getting a thank you letter for doing a good deed is so not rock and roll for a biker gang from the Outer Ring. Oh, is that so? Then do you want money? I have a lot of it. Uh, no, money can't convey my gratitude. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, don't be so quick to decide. <laughs> uh, Bernice, hey Bernice, say something. <laughs> uh, you're right. There's no need to give us money. Money was the furthest thing from our minds when we saved you. Please, just take care of yourself and live a healthy life until you're 90. Oh, I want to live longer than that. Yeah, so does everyone. But you really are a nice young lady. All right, then please take this. It'll bring you good luck. Is that a lottery ticket? <laughs> I grabbed one while passing by the store. The friendly clerk there chose the numbers for me. My palms started getting hot when I purchased it. So I think it's a lucky ticket. 
I've lived more than enough years to know that this is a sign of Lady Luck smiling at me. I'm sure it's worth at least two million. Whoa! Two million? I'm gonna fill a swimming pool with nitro fuel and make Piper teach me how to swim! <laughs> Why swim in nitro fuel? <laughs> Uh, but I don't know how to swim either. Is it already getting to your head? <laughs> Proxy, are we thinking the same thing? Am I gonna have to teach you how to swim? <laughs> About the lottery ticket getting to Bernice's head? Of course. Bernice's endearing quality is her unwavering optimism. <sighs> That's what I love about her. So I don't want to see her feeling down. Reality always brings you down, doesn't it? Though it's a pain, I'll take it upon myself to remind her of the reality. Hey! You're back! Guess what I'm thinking about! Three, two, one! I'm thinking about how we should split that huge prize of two and a half million between the three of us. We only left for ten minutes and the prize money has already grown by an imaginary 500,000? Oh, I wish my stocks could do that. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd be happy, Piper. Didn't you always like discussing the lottery with other truck drivers? It's not the actual tickets we love, it's the prize money. Ah, Bernice, listen to me. Lottery tickets are a mix of statistics and pure dumb luck. But in the end, it's 95% statistics and 5% the dark side of society. Got it? <laughs> I don't get it at all! Well, <laughs> of course you don't, Bernice. I hope you never do. It's too complicated for me to explain in detail, but a bet casually placed with numbers picked by the store, you might have a slim chance of winning a small prize. A big prize? <laughs> no way. You never know. But the results haven't been announced yet. It's too early to say there's no way. Uh, don't give me one of those sports comic book lines like, the opponents at their match point, but we haven't lost yet. Anyone who's made a bet knows miraculous victories only happen in comics. <sighs> Let me take a look at the ticket. The time on the ticket's still there, so it should be for tonight's draw. Oh, on TV? Cool! Can't wait! <laughs> hey, Proxy. I need to talk to you. It's practically impossible for this ticket to win, but I don't want Bernice to be alone when she gets disappointed. So... So you wanted to come to my place so we can watch the lottery together. Bernice, let's head over to the video store on 6th Street to watch the draw, okay? We can watch it together. <laughs> yep. Time to watch the lottery. <laughs> and see how well everything goes. <laughs> Piper's coming over. All right, go to Sixth Street and find Bernice and Piper. <laughs> uh, ah, the down there it's convenience store. <laughs> Ready to go? Uh. Right. We're off. Back to the video store to watch the lottery. Hmm. Hope good things happen. I'm pretty sure they're gonna. Right. Well, we'll see. What's what?
Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So we did win. <laughs> Each. Hmm. Three million Denny's? Whoa, that's a big number. We'll get one million each. <sighs> Wait, you were serious when you said that you planned to split the prize with us? Hey, does Bernie lie? Of course. She gave it as a thanks to all three of us. So obviously, the prize should be split evenly among us. Bernice. Huh? What is it? What, you didn't think she was gonna? It's nothing. You're such a good kid, Bernice. <laughs> I'm included too. <laughs> I, I'm included too? I really didn't do much apart from being a cute bangboo. But <laughs> if you insist, then I'll accept the one million. What's with the sudden praise? I just did what anyone would do. You two would do the same in my shoes, right? I don't know about the proxy, but my heart is likely as grimy as a truck's exhaust pipe, whereas Bernice's heart shines like a truck's headlights. Hmm. Yeah, you kind of do have a point because we do need, even though basically it is sorted out now, but we do need to make sure that the lights stay on and Fairy stays powered up. So, yeah, we might just kept it for ourselves, maybe. <laughs> the sexiest part of a truck isn't the headlights. It's the engine. Oh, when will my heart be able to rumble like an engine? Uh. <laughs> <sighs> it's so nice to be young. Anyway, according to the show, it looks like the prize money won't be given out for a while. <sighs> then, shall we get going, Piper? Thanks for everything, Proxy. We'll contact you when the prize money arrives. You gotta go and collect it. Oh, don't worry. This lottery ticket is too important to lose. I'll make sure to keep it safe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I know those words. The lottery ticket's gonna go missing, isn't it? Hey, it's bad luck to say something like that. I should hold on to the ticket just to be safe. Uh, no, you should give it here. I can keep it safe. So Piper is going to be the one to lose it. Uh, honestly, Piper, why do you have to lose our lottery ticket? She's going to lose it, isn't she? <sighs> well, we'll find out if we if she does lose it. She loses it and then we find it in the last one, right? In the last part? I don't know. I'm 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 guessing what's gonna happen. I could be wrong, I could be right, but we never we never know. All right, I'm off. Hmm. In the hollow. <laughs> Share a good. It's only Bernice now. <sighs> it's better be fine. Better have no problems. You hear me, Bernice? Piper, 
Oh. Who's doing stuff? Piper! Oh. Who locked Piper up? Who locked her up? Come here, Piper. Is it all? They're all for the ticket. Those greenhorns couldn't hurt a flea. <laughs> if they didn't threaten to scratch Steel Tusk, I wouldn't have given them the time of day. Uh, all right. It's time to play bird. They <laughs> burn. They burn. They burn all around. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> oh, you think you're gonna... What? You got stuff to go on. <laughs> yeah, nice and toasty. <laughs> Good smacks. Mm. No, nothing around. Mm. Actually, I've seen him somewhere before. They're just both trying to make ends meet in the outer room. <laughs> yeah, just because they're trying to make. Make a living does not mean they can do Thank stuff like this. Got it. I'm closing now. Move it. It's time to play burn. Bursting with energy. What? Smack him! Smack him! No, Piper's not impressed, is she? Piper! Yeah. Not interested. Boss, I already told you. We're facing Bernice and Piper from the Sons of Caledon. They're too much for us to handle. <laughs> but a real man fights against the impossible. That lottery ticket will not only cover my ex-wife's child support, but also help protect our lands. Seriously, everyone wants the ticket. Impressive. Using someone else's lottery ticket to pay for your own child support. And you're still worried about protecting your land? What a hero. I'm sure your child would be proud. But too bad you're not getting that ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, Bernice doesn't mean any harm. That's just the way she talks. I know I may not be a good father, but I grew up in the Outer Rig, and I loved these lands to the depths of my soul. I loved my wife too, but these lands remain my greatest love. I'll protect it with my life. Even if some crazy fuel maniac with a billion in prize money plans to buy the entire area as her own fuel testing site, I'll fight to the bitter end. Uh, who's this fuel maniac who sounds even greater than me? Could you introduce me to them? <laughs> I think 
He's talking about the rumored version of you. Huh? Me? Uh, I would never do that! Uh, but now that you mention it, who do I buy the Outer Rings lands from? Well, also, the prize isn't even a billion. It's just three million. Just three million? Uh, if I had that kind of money, my child support would... Boss, now's not the time to be talking about child support. It seems you've fallen for the most extreme version of the rumor. But she doesn't actually have any such plans. Of course she doesn't! Oh, but now that I think about it, setting fire to the outer ring sounds pretty cool. Hey, 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 Bernice! No! No! Bad Bernice! Take it easy, Bernice. We're just about to clear up the misunderstanding. Don't you add fuel to the fire! <laughs> I guess we came here for nothing! We came here with empty stomachs, hoping to make a killing with that lottery ticket! But... It seems we'll be going home still hungry. It's all right, boss. It doesn't matter if we didn't get the money. The other's low blood sugar has improved tremendously. It won't be like last time when Dickie fainted in that ethereal nest. Oh, wait. wait. Uh, just wait a minute. You're the ones who came charging at us. But now you're trying to put on a sad, starving act? Now we're the bad guys? Hey, Bernice, say something. Yeah. Don't let him fool you. Okay. Oh, Bernice, don't, don't do what I think you're going to do. Dare I ask what you've decided? To provide self-service snacks during the first Bernie's Cup 7 Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival, of course. A heart needs more than nitro fuel to keep pumping. Oh. <laughs> Did I miss something? The first what? The first Bernie's Cup 7 Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival. And, uh... What? Uh... What's that? I haven't mentioned it to you? Oh, I don't think I have. Well, it's alright. I can just tell you now. I plan to use my one million to buy different flavors of premium nitro fuel and drink with everyone in the outer ring for seven days and nights straight. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will love it. So you're going to blow all your money in one night? Uh, are you serious? Free nitro fuel and snacks? And we're all invited? Boss, you're not dreaming. It's a promise straight from Bernice of the Sons of Caledon. Yep, that's right. You can even bring along your ex-wife and daughter. Oh, wait. How old is your daughter? <laughs> it was her fourth birthday yesterday. Then I'll book her a ticket for the 20th Bernie's Cup. If only I knew you were planning to do such a good deed with your winnings. Uh, what have I done? I actually tried to rob a charitable angel like you guys tried to rob a saint! <laughs> we weren't so tired from hunger, we'd be tossing you into the air and cheering right now. Hey, you can still do a lot. Wow, I want to get tossed up in the air. The next time you see me, you have to toss me. It's a promise. Of course, of course we will. We'll get going then. Bye. Proxy said the nearest hollow exit is over there. Did you hear that? They want to throw me up in the air and cheer. Ah, oh, everyone here is so nice. I don't know what to say. Proxy? Uh, <laughs> Bernice, were you serious earlier? Are you really going to spend all of it on treating everyone to nitro fuel and like nothing for yourself? Absolutely! I've been wanting to do it since before I had a million. <laughs> oh, everyone's gonna be so happy! Don't tell me you want my idea! Hmm. You can host a nitro fuel party, but it can't be called the Bernice Cup. You've got
gotta come up with your own name. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, don't worry. We would never consider doing something like that. Compared to you, the proxy and I are normal people. As ordinary as they come. Yeah. <laughs> we have lots of things we want to do and spend our money on. That's why we'll spend our money on improving our own lives. Right, proxy? Yeah, and keeping the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Bernice, you're gonna do that. But then again, I don't put it past her. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now we just go wait for our payday to show up <laughs> and hope nothing bad happens in the next part. Wait, did we just get our money now? Sweet, <laughs> I'm rich. Wait, actually no, I actually I don't know. Ah, dang it. I have a way. Let's go back. Hey, bro. Hey, get a little list. <laughs> Bernice is going to do list with her money. And me and Piper are going to spend it wisely. <laughs> uh, all right. Moving on to the last part. And where we should get a big payday. Right? They all for us to get a big payday. Hey, Proxy. How have you been? I'm fine. What's with you? A lot of things have happened. Just don't ask. What happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy it's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? Also, we have already dished out. But didn't it say free? But, eh, whatever. An adult smile vanishes with their money. It's gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So, once I had the money, I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. Uh, <laughs> yeah, looking for the best stuff is going to cost a heavy price. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember. Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now. Ah, uh, too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day. <laughs> so, is it a fuel guzzler? <laughs> <sighs> That's the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ugh, that's like a school bus. <laughs> Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. Yeah. When you've once you've had the taste of power, you can never go back. So I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy saving part I could find on the market. 
consultant and expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well, long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. <laughs> and it's all gone in one day, just like Benice is gonna do. That's so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. So, I'm the only one with money left. Uh, don't say my wife. Uh, no, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. <laughs> what was that about your wife? <laughs> wait, wait. What did I spend it on? Or am I just saying the same thing just to... I don't know. I don't know if this will make you feel better, Piper, but... I've blown through all my money, too. <laughs> Seriously, Belle, what did you spend it on? You too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us. But even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? Uh, did it go on ferry? <laughs> no, Belle, you knew that was wrong. I didn't modify my car. The expenses just piled up. After paying taxes and settling the overdue electricity bill, I lent the rest to a friend to invest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's all Fairy's fault. <laughs> I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. And then investing is a bad option. <laughs> uh, on the bright side, the prize money hasn't disappeared. It's just turned into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice. And maybe one day you'll see the money again? <laughs> Aw, thanks for the compliment. Uh, I wasn't... Uh, fine. I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The oh, best way she could think of. The proxy and I both thought this money could change our lives. But the happiness didn't last. And life feels even more difficult now. The proxy has to worry day and night about the return on investment. While I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? Uh, big giant party for everybody. What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. How come you always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? <laughs> uh, I have everything I want. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and the best friends in the world. When something new comes up, I'll take it in stride. Like how you were new to me, Proxy. But now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. <laughs> That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions. Even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. Yeah. <laughs> You... kind of have a point. Let's do some commissions. I'll lead the way. <laughs> uh... Okay, and... Yeah. So... <sighs> I didn't think we had no an overdue electric bill. And... <sighs> Honestly, handing it to him... To a friend to invest. Ah, uh, Belle. I thought you knew better. Anyway. Still. Everyone's money went in one day. <laughs> so no one could keep hold of a million. Ah. Uh. Totally. 
everything and I'm getting my Denny back. You know, I don't know how much I'm gonna get, but hey, at least I'll get some back. And plus, I'm gonna get rid of all these things that explode. Spins, 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 why win? Big guy, go! I'm kind of long. I can take him. What did? Quick, load up and roll out. Where did he go? I don't think I killed him. Did I? I wasn't even fight face. No, they, they just run down there. Hey! Hey! Ooh, more things to break. More Denny. Ah! Explodies! <laughs> It's the flood! <laughs> yeah, I know it's not the flood, but still, the flood explode, they explode. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> Alright. Alright. And to play with it. Ow. You suck! Don't you think this all feels strangely familiar? Huh? Does it? <laughs> now go, Lady Rip! Lady Burn! Huh? Burn, baby Burn! <laughs> no, didn't do it. Okay, he's yeah. dead now. I'm here! Woo! Be surprised if there was. Really? <laughs> oh, thank you, kind hearted youngsters. And this cutie bang boo, of course. <laughs> Old man! <laughs> Don't mention it. I'm glad you're okay. Wait. Is it just me, or does it seem like this old man is about to pull out a lottery ticket to show his gratitude? <laughs> yeah, I can see that coming too. You? How did you know? I haven't taken out the lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. Uh, I knew it! Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or... Was I right all along about the impending doom of the world and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone? Uh, no, we just ran into this situation before. Wow, it's a wonderful thing. Calm down first. At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. <laughs> hey, you got a truck driver and a proxy. You think I work for the government? Hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. Oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Thanks! Is this a miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? 
A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an incredible streak of luck is worth more than 30 million. <laughs> Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? 30 mil? I don't need that much. 10 million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's going the exact same way, Bernice is going to win, get the 30 million, and we're all going to get 10. Correctly, you were just in a pile of ethereals. Is that what you call incredible luck? But I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket. It feels warm and sticky. Uh, warm and sticky. Why? Where to keep it? old man's hand sweat come to your senses bernice proxy stop overthinking things this 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life now's the time to celebrate if i were in the car i'd be honking like mad yeah well we blew a million denny each in one day so even though basically i did the stupid thing to invest it by giving it to a friend but still Pupils have become Denny signs. I've only ever seen that happen in Nicole. <laughs> okay, so we've got a new Nicole here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink? Or that glass of dealist special? Mm -hmm. Steel tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. I'll make you the best truck in the history of the Outer Ring. Uh, don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over, but we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. Ah. <laughs> uh... Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't care. Oh. Yeah, I know I shouldn't. Kick the can. Go, go get more. Damn it. Okay. Check the newspaper. Okay, I gotta check. I just can't go through. Yes. What? What just happened? Proxy, do you have any good news for us? I've got good news and I've got some bad news. I have good news and bad news. I strongly suggest you hear the bad news first. No, I want to hear the good news first. I think it's about time something good happened in my life. Oh, so it's basically good news. Yes, we got the winning lottery ticket. Bad news. It's out of date. <laughs> I want to hear the good news.
news too. I'm the type who always hears the good news first. Right. We won. But it's our date. <laughs> okay. The good news is we won the 30 million jackpot. I knew it. I knew it. But the bad news is This is cruel, but you still need to hear the bad news. It's our date. <laughs> this ticket was issued more than a year ago. I checked the conditions, and the redemption period is one year. <laughs> the redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. <laughs> no way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million anymore? <sighs> If you think about it from another perspective, maybe the three million we won before is part of this thirty million. Ten percent. Ten percent of it. <sighs> uh, what do you think, Piper? Does thinking about it like that make you feel better? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter. Piper, you okay? <laughs> Piper? You okay? I totally understand your disappointment. You don't need to force yourself. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I once thought I understood everything. But now I know that I don't understand anything at all. <sighs> hey, hey, hey! We got a free lunch earlier! We all got a million each and all blew it! That was our free lunch! We can't get lucky twice! <laughs> Sorry, Steel Tusk. I'll reinstall your old engine and return to my old life. <sighs> What's wrong with that? After all, the characters all return to their old lives at the end of adventure stories. <laughs> I don't understand, but I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? <laughs> oh, what's that? You have a new fuel formula? Really? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. Why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution, instead of making hardware modifications? You totals nothing, Bernice. I already tested the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning. Wait, 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 wait. You took Steel Tusk for a test drive? Without... Piper's consent. What? How did it go? Nah, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. But the cost increases a bit too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk's fuel consumption problem. I know, I know. What you want to do most right now is to test it out, right? I should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank. I'll fill it up now. It won't be long. And you can only fill it once. <laughs> She's so amazing. The charm of a return to everyday life ending. Perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like Bernice and you, Proxy. Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> <coughs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? <laughs> Next time, do not blow it all on Steel Tusk. Yeah, 
I would. I get it. I want to get rich too. Right? I knew you'd understand. But maybe Lady Luck prefers innocent people like Bernice more than realists like us. Well, yeah. Solve. <laughs> <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim. Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom, vroom! Hey, well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. <laughs> yeah, so we can get lucky again and get another winning ticket. <laughs> Seriously, after all that. But I, I knew it wasn't it wasn't gonna last. The first one was a win. The second one was a win. But it's out of date. But too late. But yeah. Oh! Hi Nicole! What are you doing here? Don't care what you're saying unless you're saying it. Done. I'm completed. Everything is now done. <laughs> and now I can take a little break and basically see what is going to happen next. Right? So I'll just Click that. Hmm. Okay, so how how many do I have now? Right now? Yeah, just gotta go over go over here and check. Hmm. Okay, I have five. Hmm. Okay, there's another five guaranteed within... Ten days of recording this, which is the... Day before. As you can tell, because I didn't have the... Login. Because they were technically on the same day. But... Still... We got a long way to wait. So I can probably make only one more temple. And hopefully I can get Bernice and then I can spend all my one pulls on her engine. So hope I get it, but I'm obviously knowing me, I'm not gonna. Honestly, this is the first character that, that I wanted, which I couldn't pull her because I lost the 50-50. And because of that, I can't get her engine. So, I, I, I don't know if I should ne ne next time go, uh, it goes around. Pull the engine first, and then pull the character. Or, well, then again, if I don't pull the character, I don't pull for the engine. Which, which one will be better? Which one will be best to, to do? Engine first, then the character. Or character first, then the engine. Hmm. I think it's best the way I'm doing it now, but then I won't have all the S rank engines because they are, I'm not pulling them. So, yeah. Eh, whatever. But I'm done. And next, all I have left to do 
is uh, that, right, which is the, those three things that I've got on, uh, the, in the, with fairy and all that, unless this is something, actually I don't know. Eh, whatever. I'll I'll find out what I'm what I'm doing next. Unless it could be something different. Cause I don't know if it's that. Oh Eh, eh anyway anyway. That is going to be it. I am done. And, as I said, I'll be back tomorrow for the other stuff. Hopefully I can get quite... Hopefully, as I said, I can get more polymorph so I can make some more poles. But, we'll see how things go. So, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. And yeah. <laughs> okay.